Hi guys, welcome to my latest tech trend channel. In this video, I am going to talk about wireless and reverse wireless charging technology in flagship smartphones. 2019 will be a big year especially in smartphone industry with blazing fast 7 nanometer chipsets embedded with 5G technologies and AI engines, 10x optical zoom technologies and hundreds of megapixel devices, ultra fast charging devices and many more. Smart devices have come a long way in terms of technology advancements. Almost all flagships support wireless charging. But apart from that, Huawei unveiled a new feature called reverse wireless charging. With this feature, we can share our smartphone power to another wireless charging supported device. Let's see how these technologies work and what are all the advantages and disadvantages with this technology. Let's find out in today's video. Without any further delay, let's get started. Before going to see how reverse wireless charging works, let's learn how wireless charging technology works in smart devices. Wireless charging is a process of recharging battery powered electronic devices without directly connecting them using wires and cables to a power source. The process gives users the freedom of charging their phones on the go without the need to plug power outlet. Plug compatibility issues can be solved with wireless charging technologies. It also provides safety from hazards related to connecting directly to the mains. Furthermore, it eliminates tangling and other mess created by wires. Wireless power, air power or air fuel, whatever we call it with fancy names, this technology is not new. The pioneer for this tech is Nikola Tesla. In late 18th and early 19th centuries, Nikola Tesla described a device that he believed could transmit electrical power from one conductor to another without the need for wires. Nikola Tesla demonstrated the ability to transmit electricity through the air by creating a magnetic field between two circuits, a transmitter and a receiver. He built what was called the Tesla Tower. The experiment failed due to the fact that the power diffused in all directions. Soon thereafter, power cables became a commonly accepted means of transporting electricity across distances. But with widespread adoption of small portable devices with batteries, in need of constant recharging and plug compatibility issues. People's attention is again turned to wireless power. Let's see how this wireless charging works. Wireless charging is sometimes referred as inductive charging because it is based on principle of electromagnetic induction. Wireless charger typically consists of power conversion circuit and an induction coil. To create an alternating electromagnetic field within a charging base station or wireless dock called as power transmitter. This power transmitter transmits power through electromagnetic waves. On the other side, a second induction coil will be placed in the portable device like smartphones or smartwatches, Bluetooth earbuds, etc., which supports wireless charging, collects the incoming power and pass it on to the circuitry, which converts the incoming power to DC and then applies that power to the battery. These two coils will come in action when they are placed in proximity range. The amount of electrical current generated depends on the amount of flux generated by the transmitter and how much of that flux the receiver coil was able to capture. To increase the chances of higher coupling factor, certain wireless charging stations are designed with multiple transmitter coils. This is what Apple tried to do in air power pads to charge simultaneously all Apple products like AirPods 2, Apple Watch, latest iPhone 10 and 10X series at once. Apple kept nearly 20 induction coils. This helps to charge multiple devices at once and it also increases the charging range and no need to bother about the device alignment. But some reports say Apple cancelled this project. Yes, you heard it right. This may be due to the high coil count used in the pads which generates enormous amount of heat which cannot be controlled easily. That's why Apple might have cancelled this project. Typically, we see single coil charging pads. At most, we see three coils. Let's see what are all the wireless charging standards available in the market. After years of battle over standards, there is now only one major player left in the smartphone game. The Wireless Power Consortium standard, the KAI, which means vital energy in Asian philosophy. The KAI standard was developed in 2010 by Wireless Power Consortium in which over 320 companies, including all the major players like Panasonic, Nokia, Samsung, Sony Ericsson, many more in the list participated. KAI is the sign of interpolability between power transmitter and power receivers. 
A vastly growing number of devices such as smartphones, cameras, speakers and wearables have Qi technology incorporated as a standard. This standard accounts for approximately 90% of all wireless charging products. The PowerMat and Wireless Power Consortium merged in January 2018, putting an end to the threats of market fragmentation and hopefully make it easier for manufacturers to pick a standard for the long term. 2017, we saw Apple adopted Qi technology for its iPhone 8 and 10X model. Although Samsung, a large smartphone manufacturer by global volume, adopted wireless charging long before Apple did. Its latest products support both Qi and PMA Power Matters Alliance standards. The only real difference between Qi and PMA are transmitting frequencies and connection protocols used to communicate with devices and control power management. Some flagships support both PMA and Qi standards, and some flagship supports only Qi standards. For example, flagship smartphones like Samsung and LG supports both Qi and PMA standards. However, some devices like Huawei Mate 20 Pro, Apple iPhones only supports Qi standards. We saw how wireless charging works and their standards. Let's see what are all the advantages and disadvantages with this technology. Coming to the advantages, wireless charging is convenient when electrical contacts are not compatible. It's a convenient on-the-go charging method. This technology also eliminates multiple cables and power adapters. In market, fast wireless chargers are also available with 15 watt rating. This technology is slowly growing. Coming to the disadvantages, we saw earlier Oppo announced 50 watt SuperWook charger. Huawei 40 watt charging and even Xiaomi teased 100 watt charging which fully charges the device in less than 20 minutes. But this wireless charging is very slow. This may take 20 to 30 percent longer times compared to the wired charging. This technology involves more expensive and complex circuitry. The range to charge our smartphone is also limited to fewer centimeters. Another disadvantage is that inductive charging is not as efficient as wired charging. One of the biggest disadvantages of all is, the wireless charging supported smartphones should have a glass back or ceramic bags, which are very fragile. We see almost all flagship comes with either glass or ceramic bags, which breaks easily during accidental drops. One big question here is, why can't we use metallic bags in wireless charging supported smartphones? Well, the answer is skin effect. To explain this, let's take an example. If we are in a lift, Suddenly, our smartphone signals get disappear, right? This is due to the skin effect. In short, electromagnetic waves cannot penetrate to metal surfaces. That's why we generally see glass bags and ceramic bags which allow electromagnetic waves without any distortion. We saw all advantages and disadvantages. Let's quickly see what reverse wireless charging or power share feature means. Reverse wireless charging or power share is a feature that makes it possible to use one device to charge another one that supports wireless charging. This means that you can use the Huawei Mate 20 Pro to charge other devices that supports wireless charging such as iPhone 10. The circuit setup is similar to what we saw earlier in wireless charging. The smartphone which supports wireless reverse charging can have a coil which acts as a power transmitter during reverse wireless charging and also access power receiver during wireless charging. The new Samsung Galaxy S10 joins Huawei in offering reverse wireless charging capabilities to power up other gadgets on the go. To enable this feature, a quick toggle is there from the settings menu and you are ready to charge up Galaxy Watch, Galaxy Buds and any other Kai certified device that includes other smartphones. Once enabled, user need to quickly place the other device that need to be charged on the back side of the reverse wireless charging supported device. Otherwise, this feature will turn off automatically in few seconds to prevent the power wastage. The Samsung Galaxy S10 wireless power share is capable of providing between 3.5 watt to 4 watt of power. On the other hand, Huawei Mate 20 Pro offers between 2.5 watt to 3 watt power. However, both are substantially slower than regular wireless charging. This is to be expected that you don't want your smartphone's battery to drain quickly just to charge up on the smartphone, right? You guys must be wondering, if you cannot charge our smartphone with this feature, what for we use this feature, right? Yes, despite the advertising material, neither Huawei nor Samsung reverse wireless charging is suitable for charging other smartphones. They are simply too slow to charge up devices with bigger batteries in any realistic time frame. But this feature is more meaningful when we charge up devices with smaller batteries such as Bluetooth earbuds, smartwatches, fitness trackers, etc. 
There is so much research going on on this technology. In near future, we are going to see upper mid-range phones also support this nifty feature in smartphones like OnePlus. In budget category, it may take some more years to adapt. That's it for me in this video. I hope you find this video informative in understanding wireless and reverse wireless charging technologies. If you like this video, like it, share it and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon to get notified. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye bye.